Hey again guys, I hope you've all had a great new year. Um, as you can see here, I've moved inside to start building some paper products for the coming year since with uh, winter in full swing here in Michigan, it's a little chilly out to be out uh, putting together uh, shells. So what I've done here is I've started building a few 5 inch hemispheres and I figured I would make a video. And uh, what I've done for this video is to use a um, softball as the former for these 5 inch hemispheres. Now, a softball is a little small for a 5 inch shell, but uh, with a little additional pasting, it will f the shells will fit in a 5 inch gun. Now, I've done this because um, most anyone has access to a softball, and so I figured it would be a better example to use something commonly available rather than an exotic former. So, you can see here, this is the goal to, head on, to end up with, and uh, these are two 5 inch hemispheres. What these are made up of is about 30 strips of craft that are just over a foot long and um, about an inch wide. The trick to making good hemispheres is to make them so that they are a nice even thickness all the way around. The way you would think to make them uh, by just lining strips up one on top of the other just like that all the way around will cause a huge buildup at the poles and cause the shells to be egg shaped. Now the process that I use will avoid doing that and it will keep a nice even thickness throughout the entire hemisphere. Now what I have here are uh, several strips of paper already soaking in wheat paste and this wheat paste is a thinner consistency than is used to paste um, canister shells. Now it's a thinner consistency to make it easier to work into the paper and um, really the thick consistency is only necessary on canister shells because you really need the thick um, paste to be able to fill any empty areas that the paper can't get into between the spiking. So what I have here are these strips of paper already soaked and you can see they've turned brown because they are so um, so soaked in this wheat paste. You can see their original color is much much lighter. So what we'll do to start is to take one of these strips and to lay it right along what will be the equator of this hemisphere and that would be where the cut is made on this hemisphere as you can see. Um, this strip of paper will be right under what is on this cut right now. So what we will do is lay this right around just like that and now what you have is your equator formed and you go ahead and work this strip around with your hands so that it makes a nice solid fit to the ball and uh, the edges will start folding in to fit that uh, sphere form and uh, this is what we'll end up with a nice equator around the ball you got the north pole and the south pole on this ball now and those are important to keep track of next is to take a second strip of paper wipe off all the excess wheat paste uh, you only need what's soaked in and just what's on the surface for now and you'll take this and you will run it not exactly 90 degrees to the equator but a little offset so that the edge of the paper will just be in contact with the north pole and then the opposite edge will be in contact with the south pole just like that and you can see the pole right here is just along the edge of this paper and the pole up here is just along the edge of this paper maybe just inside and what this will do is, as we continue layer, layering um, pieces of paper on top of this in this pattern all around the shell, instead of building up at the pole, it will start to build up in a ring right around the pole. And that is uh, much better than being directly on top. It will spread out the strength much more evenly. Now what we'll do is, keeping track of this being the equator, we will go ahead and wrap this second piece once again so that the edge just barely contacts the north pole of this hem of this sphere and so that the edge when it reaches the equator will be um, in contact with the f with the previous piece of paper you laid Now this one's a little wide. I should have cut this thinner, but it'll still work. 
Okay, now we'll go ahead and place this next in the pattern so that it's just contacting the edge of the strip at the equator and just barely contacting the north and south poles on the edges. Yeah, you can see the strip is very wide, but that's okay. It'll, it'll still work. So we'll come around, go on top of the tail end of the strip there, and now you can see we have at the top this uh, north pole right here is now covered in paper but just a little bit of the edges of these strips and then at the south um, it's also covered just by the very edges of these strips here so we'll go ahead and work that in okay and now that is the last strip to go onto this layer this first layer of the hemisphere and uh, it's nice and gooey so we can continue laying strips and laying them dry only wetting a strip with wheat paste um, as the shell starts to dry out and there's no longer enough to soak into the next layers okay for this next layer I have decided to use a white strip of paper for the equator to make it a little easier to see what I'm doing on camera so you can see that the, that the uh, paper that we've run vertically is now completely covering the equator and the vertical strips are running like this so the equator is somewhere right around in here and we don't have to be exactly on just put a little bit extra wheat paste on there because it's just off a normal piece of printer paper so it doesn't quite reach all the way around but that's, that's alright um, so what we'll do here <clears throat> once this equator is laid out this shell is still pretty wet with wheat paste. Now I think I'm gonna I'll add a little more by just soaking one more strip. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and start. Here's the new North Pole. Here's the new South Pole. You know, so I get the North and South confused. It's not like they're labeled or anything. So what I'll do is start by coming in again on an angle so that the edge of this contacts the new North Pole, and then the opposite edge contacts the new south pole right there <clears throat> or let's move it over just a little okay okay and that marks the end of the second layer and now I will really work in all these strips try to get all the air out as possible spinning it around by uh, spinning the shell around in my hands like this and, uh, okay I'll take one more strip of white paper as the equator and uh, place the new one on based on the angle that the strips are placed at that you can see and I'll end up with another equator just like this and continue just as I did for the second layer now that this final layer is pasted on what I'll do is finally take one last strip really soak it down and once this strip is soaked I'll go ahead and run one last equator around the shell and now this equator I will use to um, cut along and it will provide a little additional support to the edges of the shell. Okay, now that this is um, completed layer wise, I'll go ahead and take a paper towel, wipe off the excess wheat paste on the outside. And uh, this wheat paste will not be sticky until, um, until it's dry. And so this paper towel shouldn't stick to your hemisphere. Now the equator I ran runs this way. So I'll go ahead and take my knife, which is nice and sharp, and I'll go ahead and run down the line of the equator. Now you can wait until the shell um, dries a little on the outside. That can make it a little easier, but it's not necessary. So what I like to do is just uh, do this while the shell is still wet, and then it dries faster since it, the uh, inside is then exposed to the air. Now I'll take the knife, slide it right along, Pop that hemisphere right off, 
and that is one hemisphere ready to be dried. You can go ahead and wipe off the inside and uh, we'll go ahead and pop off the other hemisphere here. Kind of get it off a little easier. Eh, sometimes they throw a fit. There we go. And there is your second hemisphere. Just wipe off the excess wheat paste on the inside. There you go, a set of 5 inch hemispheres ready to be loaded and pasted. Alright, have fun guys.